What's new pussycats? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to today's video. This is going to be a two-day cleaning video for me. My anxiety has been so bad. It took me two days to clean my house. So I'm going to bring you guys along. We're going to talk it out. It was a wonderful, beautiful day outside, but he didn't do anything to help. He just sat there. So I wanted to keep the front door open, but I also needed to lock it because of my anxiety and the world is full of freaks and I trust no one. So we went ahead and left the door open. That way we could let in some sunshine and maybe boost my spirits a little bit. But like I said, this did take me two days and I, I figured I would go ahead and start this video with the second day only because I always start my cleaning videos like in the kitchen and I feel like I needed to switch things up. So we're going to start here in the office. It was a hot mess. If you cannot tell, there were things everywhere and just walking into this room gave me anxiety. Why in the hell is there a cheese grater in here? You know why? Because I've been too lazy to put it up in the kitchen. That's why. So we're going to get through all of this together. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope it motivates you. I've had some comments on one a uh, couple of my latest videos. They weren't subscribers. I hope they are now. Um, but they were like, girl, why are you talking through this whole thing? Just do the video. And I was like, well, because some of you know, some of my friends enjoy to hear me talk and that's what I'm going to do because they're my friends and we're going to talk to each other. Um, so I did guide them to some of my videos that have no talking in them and I told them I hope they enjoyed those. But anyways, there's going to be some talking in here. There's going to be a lot of talking actually, but there will be some music too. So if you don't want to hear me talk throughout this video and you just want the motivation, you can just go ahead and mute me and turn me on your TV, your iPad, your phone, whatever you feel the need to do. But um, with May being Mental Health Awareness Month, I really felt compelled um, to do this video and to kind of talk to you guys. I, I don't know how many times I've told you um, that mental health to me is extremely, extremely important. It is so very important to me. From the beginning of my YouTube journey, I have had the Suicide National Prevention Hotline number in my description box of every single one of my videos. And I just, I just want people to feel like, you know, mental health and talking about mental health is normal. I want it to be a normal thing. It shouldn't be something that people are embarrassed to talk about or feel like they have nobody to talk to about it. If you need somebody to talk to, hit me up on Instagram and I'll talk to you about it. I, I don't mind because I'm, I'm here for y'all. I feel like, again, it's something that needs to be shared that people should not feel, um, you know, like they can't talk about it or embarrassed to talk about it because that's, that's crazy. You should, you should have somebody to talk to and I'll be your somebody to talk to if you don't have anybody. But over the last few weeks, I have just been in a mental state that was just not me. I don't know if you've noticed, I haven't really been on Instagram that much. I'm usually, you know, doing reels and making a complete full out of myself. I just haven't been in the mind space lately. Um, and I'm going to, this, this video is going to be 1000% transparent. Okay. Um, if you guys have noticed a lot of my last few videos have really been more like, uh, sponsored videos. And it's because I've had so many of these sponsored videos um, that I, I, I haven't done them and I need to do them. Um, this video is not sponsored. This is why I kind of wanted to talk about it. But this brand reached out to me and they offered to send me this bag and I was not going to not take this bag. Okay, I'm human. So get over it. Um, I'm not paid to do this whatsoever. They just gifted this to me and I wanted to show this to you guys. And they've also been so incredibly nice to give me a a little coupon code for you guys if you wanted to use it. So this is the Louis Vuitton satchel bag and when you order this it comes with uh, the box like you saw the dust bag, the cards, the tags, the invoice. Now these are actually replicas of these bags but I could not tell you any difference. I don't own a Louis Vuitton bag but I feel certain that these are pretty daggone close. Um, everything came packaged so incredibly beautifully and nice. These are wonderful pieces. I'm so excited to have this. This actually did also come with like a little 
uh, the chain that you could use, but I like to just really use that, that strap. I love a crossbody and I got to pick between a green or a pink strap and I chose the pink only, you know, because I think it's really pretty and I thought it would be really nice for spring, but they have got so much stuff on this website. They have bags, they have Louis Vuitton, they have Chanel, Prada, Burberry, Anything and everything you can think of is on this website. They've got sunglasses, clothing, shoes, jewelry, everything. Um, so I really want to say thank you so much to this company. The company's name is Wishabiz, and their uh, website is wishbiz.ru. I'm going to have all of their information in my description box if you want to check them out. These would be great for Mother's Day coming up, if you have birthdays coming up, anything like that. I'm so impressed with this. Like when I got that box and everything was in the dust bag and the invoices and the receipts, are you kidding me? I felt no, no, nobody could tell me nothing. Okay. Nobody could tell me nothing. And there are so many different ways you could wear this. I'll show you here in just a second. Um, you know, you're preferably not with sweatpants and a sweatshirt, but it still looks cute, right? I am not going to use the little coin bag up top. So I wanted to show you like all the different ways, either with or without it, and then with or without the little front bag as well. This thing is so, so cute. So daggone cute, you guys. I can't, I can't even. Um, but when you go and look on the website, you're going to find so much stuff. And this isn't like, um, you know, a whole bunch of cheap stuff at, at all. It's not cheap whatsoever. Um, I think this one was 139 maybe, this bag. Like I said, they're replicas. Um, and if you don't want to go and spend actual Louis Vuitton money, this is the next best thing. So I'm going to leave all the information, like I said, in the description box. Go check them out. And again, thank you so, so much, Wishabiz, for sending this to me. It's it's beautiful. And I love it so much. <laughs> so thank you. Um so yeah, we're going to, we're going to move on to the bathroom now. My bathroom was disgusting. You guys, I was embarrassed. Like there was a funk, a foul odor coming from this bathroom. I finally realized what it was. I told you guys, this video is going to be a thousand percent, uh, transparent. So do you see on that little white thing right there, the black shampoo little bottle with a purple writing? So that's actually kind of like a a weird little plastic bottle. It's, it's like squeezable. I don't know how so it's like a pouch. So on the top of that pouch, you know, there's like a room, a space, and they sat right there in the middle of my shower. So water got into it, all kinds of stuff. So it had stuff sitting like water sitting in it forever. And it just got like stagnant and gross and nasty. And that's what was smelling in my bathroom. I was so Needless to say, I threw that mess away, okay? I was so embarrassed of myself. Now, nobody goes in my bathroom but me. So nobody else knows this but but me. But I was so mad at myself that I had let my bathroom get like this. Um, I was embarrassed of myself. But I also, I quickly, you know, reeled it back in. And I was like, look, everybody has times in their life where, you know, they just let stuff go astray. And this was my house. Um, actually for like a week and a half, this was my house, my bathroom. I'm not even going to show you a close up of my sink. It was God awful. Um, if you guys have been here for a while, you know that I cannot stand to clean up hair with cleaner. Like if I spray cleaner everywhere and wipe it up, I can't do it, even if it's my own hair. So I like to take my little vac and vacuum up all the hair that I can before I start spraying everything down and wiping it. It's just a thing. It's just a thing. Okay. But my bathroom was disgusting. It was gross. So that needed to be done ASAP. Um, but back to anxiety. So another thing, if you guys uh, follow me on Instagram, you probably have noticed that I've been reading a lot. And that has been helping me tremendously with my anxiety. I haven't been getting online as much. I haven't been on Instagram that much or, you know, YouTube that much other than to, you know, post my videos or whatever, because I have let this side of me kind of take over. And I think we've talked about this before, but I will compare myself to other people. And then I get upset with myself that I'm not doing as good as I would want to be. And then I just let that consume my entire, you know, days. And that's not right. That's not, um, 
that's not healthy. And I really needed to get myself out of that for a while. So for quite some time, like I said, you know, like a week or so, which is, it doesn't sound like that long, but it's been a long time <laughs> for me for like a week or so, or, you know, maybe a couple weeks. I've just been reading. I've been um, just taking time for myself. I will come home from work and just rest and relax and not worry about, you know, I need to clean, but I also need to film it because there's a wasted opportunity for me to film and have, you know, footage of something. Do you know how nice it is to just clean my house without having to tote around a camera on a tripod? I get things done so much faster and it's just more of a relaxing thing. Now, a lot of you might say, well, Mandy, you do it to yourself. Nobody has forced you to make this YouTube channel. Well, you would be correct. And I still enjoy this. And that's why I started to enjoy this. Um, or why I started this is because I enjoyed it. But it gets to you, you know. It really, it just, it gets to you after a while. Also, all this laundry. I had to get this laundry done, y'all. Because I have worn the same pair of jeans to work for a week and a half. And I haven't washed them once. So, there's that. Um, I had no clean underwear. <laughs> so I needed to do my laundry. It's just, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I've just been in a funk. And it's not a bad thing. It's it's a normal thing. And I just want you guys to know that it's it, it's okay. And you should talk about it. And the more you talk about it, the easier I think it is for people to overcome it. Um, I, anxiety runs rampant in my family, especially on my dad's side. And I know he's probably going to comment on this and say, don't worry about it, Ope. You know, it runs in the family. But I do worry about it because I don't want to pass that on to my kids, which I, I feel like in some way I kind of have. Um, so I get extremely anxious riding in cars or any any kind of transportation uh, because I can't control it. I know there's a word for it, but I can't think of it right now. Somebody told me what it was. If I can't control it, it freaks me out. So if it's raining or snowing outside and I'm riding in a car, if Jesus himself comes down here and tries to drive me downtown in the rain, I'm still going to freak out. It doesn't matter. That's just the way it is. And I don't want to live my life like that anymore, you know? Like I've got people in my family that are really sick and they might not be here for a long time. And I feel like I've wasted so many years of my life being afraid of things and just having anxiety over things that it has kept me from having a good time and enjoying my life. And I don't want to do that anymore. And I don't want to spread that on to my kids and have them be, you know, freaked out and have anxiety over things. Does that make sense? I don't know. I think I've probably gone off on like a, a tangent of things that y'all might be sitting there like shaking your head like, Girl, I did not sign up for this when I clicked this video. I just wanted to see if you got your kitchen clean. So <laughs> I'm sorry, but um, again, I, I just really feel like it's necessary for us to talk about it and um, just get it out of our system. And this is how I do this. This is my outlet. And I really, I really do believe that a lot of you guys that I, I do consider my friends, I know a lot of people talk about on the internet, when you have a, a YouTube channel or something like that, if you're a quote unquote influencer, which I don't feel that I am, I'm just on the internet making a fool out of myself and, you know, cleaning my house. But subscribers, you know, you guys have, have given me so much that I couldn't have done before. You've given me the confidence to do things that I never would before. And, you know, I mean, my God, look at me, look at my outfit. I'm on the internet doing this in, in that outfit because you guys have given me the confidence to believe it's okay. And nobody cares. Everybody cleans their house this way. And I've said it time and time again. If you're in your jeans and your sweater and your pearls, cleaning your house, elbows deep in a toilet, you're not doing it right. Okay. You're just not. So anyway, I feel like you guys are my friends and I have made tremendous friendships through this platform. So I really feel like, you know, I should be myself. And I feel like a lot of people in the world feel the way that I do, but they just won't talk about it. So I'm here to talk about it. Uh, and speaking of talking about it at this point, I was on the phone with my mom. She called me and, um, we were, <laughs> we were talking, that's why I was making all those faces. Anyway, I love her so much. She gets me. Okay. She gets me. There's Debbie. I told her to say hi. She doesn't know that there's no, no sound. So I don't know what the hell she said, but y'all couldn't hear her. Anyway, that's Deb or Sue. So if y'all, <laughs> if y'all don't know her, that's her. She does a lot of my little cooking 
type videos over on the vlog channel. If you guys don't know, I have a vlog channel or if you don't follow that channel, it's in the description box as well. We have a hoot over there. So go follow us over on that channel too. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's been a crazy few weeks. I've just kind of been in a funk, you know, not really depressed. I have nothing really to be depressed over. I have a good life. I'm very fortunate. Um, but yeah, it's just been, it's just been a little bit weird. But I really do feel like it just depends on how you deal with things is, uh, you know, how you come out of those little funks and having people to talk to about it and having an outlet really does help me. Like I've literally been in the moods where I just didn't even want to physically open my mouth and talk to people. I had to go to work like I have bills, you know, I got to go to work. I got to put on a face, but I would just come home and like change my clothes and just get into bed at 3.30 in the evening. Like, what is that all about? Also, that big thing right there. Do you know how hard it is to clean my house around him? He just wants to be near me. I honestly feel like I have passed on the stress and anxiety to my dog. <laughs> I think maybe that's why he follows me around so much. It's because when he was little, like I would never let him out of my sight, you know? Um, kind of like with the kids. And... He would just, like, I don't know. I just didn't want him to run off. I didn't want anything to happen to him. So I kind of just, like, kept him close. And he's still, he's still just like that. I think he just needs to be near me. I think, really, it's just because he just loves me. And he's just an amazing dog. But I'm having to, like, step over top of him to do dishes. That's, that's how much he wants to be close and near me. But that's okay. That's fine. Um, it, this video is going to be all over the place. I'm just going to go ahead and warn you right now. I'm sorry. Like, I've needed to do this for so long, just like get everything out in the open and talk about things. And I want you guys to understand that it's not like, I don't know. It's not like I can get on here and say, oh, I love cleaning my house. And, you know, I love scrubbing dog bowls and I love vacuuming. I don't, but it has to be done. And I feel like having people here to talk you through things and to give you motivation might help other people you know, get through their house cleaning. That's why I'm here. Basically, I don't have like a ton of tips and tricks and I can tell you how to do things better and easier and cheaper. Sometimes I do, but that's not, that's not just me. Like I've always felt like I've had the personality that I could get along with anybody as long as I, you know, just put myself out there. And that's pretty much what I'm doing. And I was like, what am I going to do? Like I, I clean, I have to clean. Everybody cleans. Right. So this is kind of just like the way that I went. Um, also I think, I think this is about the time that I cut. Yeah, there it is. Do you see that stink bug? Oh my gosh, you guys, they are so bad. So bad right now. Um, but yeah, I just grab them and take them outside. People say that I freak them out doing that, but they're not going to hurt you. It's not like they bite or anything. If they feel threatened, then they'll, you know, spray you with their stink, but they normally don't. If you grab them real gently and just put them right back outside. There you go. Now, I know I'll probably have three more in its place coming in my house, but that's okay. Sometimes Buddy will chase them around, and he won't eat them, but he will mess with them enough to where they will spray him. Ugh, I get so mad about that. Also, he'll get them to where, um, I don't know, they might just have little baby stink bug heart attacks, and they're just dead in the floor somewhere, and I get them in the, in the vacuum cleaner, and they stink. Anyway, that's just TMI. But I've literally talked y'all's ears off for 20 minutes. So I'm going to play you just a little bit of music. But don't worry, I'll be back with my shenanigans and we'll talk some more. But I'm just getting by. So I'll stay up watching Moonrise Kingdom when I miss you sometimes. Am I lying to myself? It's the one thing that I've got Time and nostalgia It's 
I've actually gone back and listened to everything that I've already uploaded onto this video and my god I have been all over the place I honestly think I have ADHD literally I can't keep myself in one spot to save my life anywho we're gonna go ahead and get on into this living room it's disgusting I'm gonna get this couch cleaned off with my chom chom you guys have sorry if you heard that my computer had a message how rude. Um, you guys have heard me talk about this Chom Chom so much. It's on my Instagram. It's not on my Instagram. Oh my God. I'm not even cutting that out. It's in my Amazon storefront. <laughs> it's in my Amazon storefront and it's amazing. I'll show you guys here on Bodie's bed in just a second how good it is because I don't think you can really tell on the couch because it's light. But Buddy did get a new bed, if you have not noticed. Reuben bought that for him. It's a Carhartt. Reuben was bound and determined to get him a Carhartt bed, and we let him. It's not the color scheme nor the size that I would have wanted, but he bought it for him, and Buddy loves it, so there you go. But this is why I didn't want that color, because you can see all of his hair. That's why I kind of try to keep everything that we get for him like a light color, but with the Chom Chom, it makes it so easy. Now, the, the top of this, or not the top. Oh my gosh, you can take the cover off of this and throw it in the washer, <laughs> but I didn't feel the need to. It's not dirty, it just has dog hair all over it. So I got my Chom Chom out and I got it all cleaned up. Now this is going to show you, I literally had like half of a Chihuahua worth of hair um, just off of this bed. And if you guys have pets, these are amazing. These things are amazing right here. Talking about Bodie, his birthday is coming up. He's going to be five, you guys, five years old. It's funny because I went back not too long ago and I watched a couple of my very, very, very early videos and just to see him being so tiny and little, oh my gosh, it melted my heart. So I'm trying to think of things to get him for his birthday, the big five, you know, I don't know. He really does like balls. Um, tennis balls, he just chews up and makes a mess with them. And the, well, actually the best things for him I get are the bleached femur bones but not the ones with all the stuff on the inside because what happens is he will start to lick and eat that stuff from the inside of that bone and it gets all over my carpet and nine times out of ten that stuff is red and then it's a nasty mess on my car we don't need any other reason to make this carpet nastier than it already is um anywho so I, what I've decided, and y'all don't come for me for this, because I've, I've had quite a few people actually, I really do think that people just come and watch me to see Bodie, and that's okay. I get it. I get it. But um, I've had people that have wanted to buy Bodie gifts, and I thought about it, and his birthday is coming up. I'm going to make Bodie a wish list on Amazon. Now, before you freak out, I'm doing this for my family as well. If you do so feel inspired um to get Bodie something for his birthday I will put that in my in my description box please do not feel the need that you have to get him anything because he has plenty I promise you I did this for my for my family because my mom is going to be getting him stuff I know she's really come uh really full circle my mom's never been an animal lover nor a dog lover but she has become a buddy lover <laughs> How could you not, right? I mean, look at that. Look at that face. My gosh, I love him. Anywho, um, the femur bones are good. He just destroys everything. So it's hard for me to find stuff that really does mesh with him well. He loves all of the Chuck It stuff that we take outside, like the Frisbee and the Chuck It Ball, all of those things he loves. But 
I'm probably going to have like a little birthday for him and that will be on the little vlog channel. If you guys, um, oh, another one of my friends here gave me their, um, recipe for dog treats. And I'm going to be making that too. Maybe that'll be in the same video. I'll do the dog treats, the homemade dog treats, and I'll have Buddy's birthday at the same time. How about that? We'll do that. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and clean this carpet because it's disgusting as usual and it definitely needed it. I didn't really focus a lot of the time on this video on the carpet cleaning because you guys have watched me do it 10,000 times, but I did want to leave some of it in here for motivation. I would love, okay, I love this thing. I love this vacuum, this, this cleaner, but I want one a little bit smaller. Girl, boy, whoever's watching this, my shoulder felt like it was going to fall out the next day. I can't, my, I'm just getting too old, you guys. I'm getting too old. I'll be 47 this year. I can't do it anymore. I can't do it like I used to, but um, yeah, I want one of the smaller ones. So if you guys could not tell, I did get myself a new little duvet set. Yes, it's white. I know it's it was not the best decision, but none of y'all were there to tell me not to do it, okay? So I blame you for having this decision. But I love it, and I think it's very nice and pretty and clean and crisp and springy. Um, it's really nice. I got it off of Amazon. It wasn't that expensive whatsoever, and it just gives me another option when I want to switch the green one out. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish making this bed, and I'm also going to show you those little throw pillows that I was talking about earlier. I got the little cases. I don't know. Did I even tell you about these? So I got these. I got these 
pillow covers, like pillowcase covers for my little throw pillows. And they're like a burgundy. There they are. So I thought it would be like a really pretty color for the bedroom. Anyway, there they are. So I'm going to dust. If you guys can see the amount of dust on my side table, there was also dust all over my lamp and my wall. It's so gross. This is what, this is what anxiety and not wanting to do anything will do to your house. And I'm embarrassed, but I'm really not because it happens. There are some people that have much worse anxiety and depression than I do. And their houses look a lot worse than I, than, than mine does. And there's some people that don't have to suffer and deal with anxiety and depression. And they don't, you know, they don't understand it, which is fine. It's not for everybody to understand. But like I said, in the beginning, I wanted to, you know, if I have some sort of voice on a platform, no matter how big or small that it is, I do want to spread the awareness. I want it to be normal for people to be able to talk about. And I want you guys to know that if you do need to talk about anything, I'm always here. If you don't have anybody to talk to or if you don't feel comfortable with, I'm always here to talk to you. So jump in my DMs, holler at me, leave me a message. We'll hook up. I'll talk to you. But this bedroom, y'all, was was beyond. I mean, it wasn't, it's not as bad as it has been before, okay? Now, a few, I don't know, I don't know, a few weeks ago, I, I did a video and Ruben got all of his stuff cleaned off of that dresser. And I was so proud of him. He started a little pile again of, of clothes up there. I'm just cleaning around it, y'all. That's all I'm doing. I'm going to move it. I'm going to dust. And I'm putting it right back up there. I don't know what he's doing with that stuff. He boggles my mind. But, um, yeah, that's what we're doing. We're getting this this uh, bedroom cleaned. I had to clean every single room of this house. Every spot, every space needed attention. Every nook and cranny. I didn't do, like massive massive deep cleaning but like surface cleaning alone literally took me two days I was just so overwhelmed and I I couldn't put myself through an entire day of doing it I had to give myself a break and that's fine too if you guys need to give yourself a break do it if you want to do one room a day do it whatever makes you feel good whatever helps you feel proud of yourself and accomplished that's all you got to do but I'm so incredibly thankful that you guys decided to come and watch today's video. It was a little bit more of a longer one. I also talked your ears off and I'm sorry for that, but I just really felt like I needed to talk today and I haven't felt like talking in a while. So I wanted to use this as an opportunity, but if this is your first time here and you enjoy the video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up or letting me know in the comments that you're new. Let me know where you're watching from. That way I can come and say hello to you guys personally. Follow me over on Instagram. Um, all that information is going to be in the description box. Oh, oh, okay. Let me finish that. Everything will be in the description box. But I also uh, started a Facebook page. So if you guys don't have Instagram, you can follow me over on Facebook. So I believe it's Mandy Flora's Cleaning over there. Go and give me a follow. I would love to have some more friends. I don't have that many, but I just started that page. I thought it would be a lot easier for people to, you know, be able to talk to me. And when I have little giveaways and things like that, just because not everybody has Instagram and I don't feel like those people should be punished for that. And I pretty much think everybody has a Facebook. So I went ahead and decided to do that. But I'm so incredibly grateful that you guys came by today and you decided to click on this video and watch. It means truly more to me than you will ever know. I love and appreciate you guys and you help me get through some tough times just in case you guys did not know that. I really do appreciate the encouragement and the messages that I get from you guys. It's just, it floors me how how I could have missed all these opportunities for friendships if I had never just gotten on YouTube. But again, thank you. I appreciate you. I hope this motivated you. And again, share this with anybody that you think might enjoy it. And I appreciate you listening to my ramble and my rants. But I love you. I gotta go. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Sometimes, am I lying to myself?